In this video, I'll give you a very quick overview of basic functionality. I'm using AnyTune on an iPad. All the same functionality exists on the iPhone. When you first open AnyTune, you will need to select a song. You can select a song in your music library using the familiar categories, songs, playlists, artists, and albums. I will go to the AnyTune playlist and select Play It Again. You will see the waveforms being created as the song is imported. Press the play button to begin the song playing. Same button to pause. The song's waveform is presented in two views. The bottom view shows the entire song and you can drag the playhead to any place in the song. The larger zoomed view is centered at the playhead and shows the song's details in a scroll view, which you can touch and drag for more precise positioning. You can adjust the tempo with this control. The plus and minus buttons increment the tempo up and down, or use the scroll slider for more precise adjustments by spinning or dragging in the control. Double tap to reset. The pitch is adjusted by this control. You can increment by semitones with the buttons, or use the slider to adjust down to tenths of a semitone. That's the basic functionality. Select the song, play it, and adjust the tempo and pitch. AnyTune has lots more great features to help you learn or practice a song. I will now give you a very quick overview of some of these other features, just to show you some of the possibilities. Watch the other videos, check the user guide, or just play with AnyTune to learn more. The help button reminds you what the controls do. You can still use the controls with the help bubbles presented. You can easily create a loop to practice a part of a song. Toggle loop controls here. The A and the B sliders define your loop. You can drag them or move them to the playhead position with the A and the B buttons. Then enable or disable the loop with the loop button. You can create audio marks in the song to make navigation easy. or use the sharing functions to send timed comments in an email to a band member. You can also see the lyrics of a song and change their color and the size of the text. With the Pro HQ Live Mix feature and an adapter, you can plug in an instrument and play along with a band, mixing any song on your device with you or your instrument. Stop the song to practice with headphones. The Fine Touch EQ allows you to enhance the instrument in your song you want to learn, or suppress an instrument when you're playing along. There are preset EQ profiles, or you can create and save your own. Once a song is imported, it is displayed in your Tunes folder. You can also import songs from Dropbox, from a computer in your local network over Wi-Fi, or from an email. Well, that's the quick tour of features, just to give you an idea of some of the things AnyTune has to offer. I hope you'll find AnyTune a great tool to help you learn and practice your favorite songs.